All right, so I'm going to shoot a quick video here on how I set up my rotary table. I use it for uh, essentially making my buttons for the fidgets. Um, it's a really handy piece of equipment. If you've got a mill and you don't have a rotary table, you're definitely missing out. They're not super cheap, but um, definitely worth the purchase. I think, I, I mean, mine's kind of a pretty entry-level one. You can definitely get some much nicer ones than what I have, but I think I only paid about 100 bucks for it um, on Amazon. And it's uh, definitely something well worth getting. Uh, it's just a 6-inch rotary table, but for your average knife maker, that's pretty much all you need. Uh, there's guys that buy bigger ones than that, but you don't necessarily need to. So, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. What I have here is called a live center. This is just generally used um, on a lathe. Um, but what I use it for is the quick and accurate enough, um, especially with the equipment I have, way to um, get it centered. So what you could use, and what is probably the more accurate way, is called a coaxial gauge. And essentially... You take this and you would chuck it up in here and it spins with the mill and it actually will read, here if I pop the ring off, it'll read whether it's centered or not. There's a little piece you put in the bottom, a little probe. Like that. And when it spins, it shows if you're off center or not. So basically, the idea is you get it down in there and you want this gauge to not move at all. And if you get it perfectly still, you're about as centered as humanly possible. Uh, it just takes a long time. Um, it is more accurate, but um, for my purposes, and the tolerances I can keep on this machine, um, I've discovered that truly the best way is with the live center. So we're just going to pop it up in there, make sure it's snug in the spindle. Tighten that down. And then we grab. our rotary table get it up in there and so all we're going to do is bring the center down into the hole which is a uh, uh, MT number two taper in there and it's just going to center itself right on there so we'll bring down the mill here. I'm going to actually bring the table back a little bit. A little bit more. And just bring it all the way down. And you want you don't want to try and do this with the rotary table clamped down yet. Um, it's best to have that free floating and then have it center to the head instead of having this bolted down and trying to center the head of the mill to the rotary table. Um, it won't be as accurate and it'll take you a lot longer. So it's as simple as that. Once that's there, you just clamp your table down. Make sure it's good and snug on both sides. And you're done.